Hello again, good afternoon. Here are some business news updates at midday. About $1.8 billion from the Cocoa Loan Syndication is expected to hit the Bank of Ghana's account in the first week of October. This was after Cocoa Board signed an agreement with some 24 banks in Frankfurt, Germany to aid the release of the cash. The following business desk report has more. The $1.8 billion is primarily expected to help Cocoa Board finance cocoa beans purchase from farmers for the next one year. However, one of the major beneficiaries of this inflow will be the stability of the Ghana city. This is because the inflows will increase Bank of Ghana's international reserves, possibly to $6.7 billion in the first week of October. One should also not forget about the inflows from the Eurobond donors and the IMF. All these will hit the central bank account within the next two months. This could convince importers, banks and businesses that the central bank is in a good position to support the market with the needed dollars to meet the country's import needs. This could prevent a situation where people demand dollars to protect their investments when they don't actually need it. This morning, a dollar is likely to be sold to you as Sri Ghana City's 96 pesos. Our well, Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Cocoa Board, Dr. Francis Kofi Opong, says they are, they are committed to using the inflows to ensure that cocoa production target of 900,000 metric tons next crop season is achieved. Normally, uh, around this time every year, when the loan uh, is announced, Cocoa Board meets its stakeholders to uh, have what we call the PPRC meeting you know, to determine the various allocations that will go into the financing the crop. And that was with respect to you know, what we pay to farmers and what we pay to hauliers, what we pay to you know for quality control and for other you know activities. And that includes the uh, fertilizers, insecticides, the fungicides, the seedlings and so on. So that is determined will be determined at that meeting. We need to ensure that you know the targets that we set ourselves, the 850 to 900, that's what we're saying, for 1617, 850 to 900, so that you know, we could support our farmers to uh, produce that. So long as you know, we also have the blessings of the rains coming at the right time in the right quantities. Uh, so you can get some more analysis on the impact of this syndication loan on the marketplace shortly at one o'clock. My name is Nano Abuaji Riafi.